You voted against mm -hmm. her deal I did. twice. It's coming back probably next week for the third time. Are you wavering at all? I'm going to keep, and I re recommend my colleagues do, keep their options open on this because we don't know what's happening this week. Mm -hmm. We have no idea what the alternatives are and, and whether people vote for this or not depends hugely on whether we are able to leave with no deal or not mm -hmm. or whether there is a, <clears throat> a change to this. And so I, like everybody else, I think, should keep our options open and look. And no doubt Steve Barclay later on yeah. may be able to set that programme Be for Because us. it's perfectly possible that the House of Commons takes back control of the order paper next week mm. and then some form of, quotes softer Brexit, quote, yeah. is voted through by MPs, which would be disastrous from your point of view. Yes, I think we need to get this into perspective. Uh, the public is angry about politicians because this idea, I think, that uh, a parliament can take control of the government, I mean full of people that sometimes couldn't even run a whelk stall are going to actually end up running the government for 15 minutes or for a day or something like that. I mean, Oliver Letwin, I've had this out with him before, I do not understand what a man who was in government thinks he's really doing here. This is a recipe for utter chaos, and I think it therefore needs to be defeated, defeated by anybody who has a scintilla mm. of a sense uh, that they need to avoid the humiliation of Parliament rowing amongst itself yes. for weeks and then extending some absurd length of time. So the way to avoid mm. all of that, as David Davies and Esther McVeigh and others on your wing of the party have already said, is to vote for the deal. We don't know whether the deal's coming back. So, as I said earlier on, uh, I am prepared to discuss and keep my options open, and I think colleagues are genuinely at the moment, keeping their options open to whether or not... You know, we don't like the withdrawal agreement because it locks us in at the other end, <clears throat> makes our negotiating position very poor, and it locks us into this mm. backstop, which means either we leave Northern Ireland in a customs union aligned in the, Euro in the single market, or we stay with them. So these are the downsides. But having said that, all of this has to be balanced at the end of mm. the day against what is really still on the table. Until we know whether they're going to bring it back, when they bring it back, it's impossible to say categorically uh, what our position is, but I will recommend you, that colleagues should keep their, 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 their counsel on this one.